Bud Bruning, president of UTV Utah. This is a 2019 Polaris Razor Turbo S. It's got 40 inch tires and uh, four inch portals and uh, it's a monster. I've been running this car with 36 inch tires and no portals. Um, it's worked fantastic. Um, I wanted to do something a little bit bigger. I've had the gear reduction already done. Um, I've got HCR suspension on it. I've got everything built up on it. Uh, and so the next obvious step was if you want to go bigger uh, to do some portals. And I was going to do like 37s or 38s, something just a little bit bigger than the 36s I was running. Um, but you know what, the kind of the, the magic number on a lot of these machines is, is 40 inch tires. And so we thought, you know what, let's try 40s and see, see how they do. And we actually went out and ran a trail this morning. Um, they work incredibly well. The, the, the weak spot on these machines is the steering. So as long as you can get your line straight and steer it, steer it good, uh, it actually does amazingly well. So the only thing I've done power-wise is I've done a uh, DW Racing blow-off valve, charge tube, I did a dyno jet, Trinity exhaust. Um, we've done clutch work on it, but as far as internals on the engine, we haven't done anything to the internals on the engine. It's still a stock motor, uh, just runs, runs fantastic. Just with the gearing and the few things that we've done, it actually runs incredibly well. It runs, uh, it actually does really good. Even with these big tires, a lot of people say, are you burning belts or are you, know, what's a, are you having problems with it? With the gearing in the, in the portals and the gearing in the transmission, uh, I, I haven't noticed any issues with the belt, low range, uh, Four-wheel drive, it, it just crawls. So the the machine is just a straight uh, Polaris Turbo S, and actually we got this from Carl Malone. Um, Carl Malone's a huge sponsor of UTV Utah, so we got this from Carl Malone, Polaris, and Heber. Um, we've got Vent Racing. Vent Racing is up in Ogden. Uh, they did the cage and the roof rack. They do an amazing job. Uh, Deacon at uh, Vent Racing has been a, a long, big-time supporter of UTV Utah. They did a great job. Uh, HCR Suspension is based out of Cedar City. And uh, so we're running all their stuff on the machine. We've got uh, portals from Super ATV. We've got 40 inch tires. Um, we've got triple uh, X seats in the car. We've got an SMB part particle separator. Um, we've got a Sandcraft steering rack, Sandcraft uh, driveline. Um, we've got uh, uh, STR suspension, uh, shocks and valving. Uh, these machines have great suspension stock but what STR can do to them, and these guys are based out of Washington, what STR does to a, a car of this size is actually pretty amazing. They do a fantastic job raising the car, but then also making it ride like butter. So awesome job, uh, SSS off-road skid plate, side-by-side -side customs, rock sliders. Uh, we've got a sound system from m and Automotive in Sandy. We've got a Trinity exhaust. We've got DW racing uh, charge tube and blow-off valve. Uh, most every one of these companies, with the exception of Trinity Exhaust, uh, are all local companies. We try to we try to support local. So everything on the machine, we try to do as much local as we can. We've got great companies in Utah. Uh, Sector Seven Mirrors is another one. Motor Armor Windshield. Um, it just got a lot of a lot of cool stuff. The car is is actually really really built with a lot of local products, and so that's something we want to support with UTV Utah. We believe in supporting the uh, UTV you know, shops and vendors. And so we try to keep as much stuff on the car as we can that's local.
So uh, with UTV Utah, as you know, we are we're fighting to keep trails open. Um, there's a lot of fights that we're fighting. We're constantly fighting. We've got over 23,000 members um, that are all members of UTV Utah. And right now, some of the key battles that we're fighting is right now we're, we're fighting to keep street legal machines available to drive on the roads in Moab City. Uh, Moab is a place that is predominantly OHV. It's been a Jeep community for decades. Um, and, and now with the side-by-side -side indus industry exploding, there's more and more people out in side-by-sides than ever before. And so because there's more and more machines out, obviously there's gonna be more and more traffic and more and more noise. And so we're fighting the battle in Moab to keep trail access open, keep public roads open to OHVs. There's um, some citizens in the community that aren't happy with the noise. We've actually proposed some ideas uh, to kind of alleviate the noise. But one of the directions they've talked about going is banning side-by-sides uh, in town. And so that's one thing that we're fighting. Uh, we're also fighting to keep the San Rafael Desert open. Uh, there was a Bureau of Land, Land Management plan done, and uh, it's being fought with some resistance from some environmental groups that want to have them adjust it. They want to stop camping, they want to stop hiking, they want to stop OHV access, and so we're fighting to keep that open. Um, just a lot of, we've got a lot of fights uh, going on in, in the state of Utah. We've got a great community. We're, we've got great connections, so we're able to do it on a very small budget, which is very good. We're and available and, and we can actually make an impact uh, without spending an enormous amount of money to fight these fights because we've got a great community. Uh, over 23,000 members, and a lot of them are legislators and a lot of people uh, are recreating in these machines. So it's something we enjoy doing. Um, it's just kind of a passion we have. If we don't keep this open for, for not only us, but for our kids, we may lose it. Do you have a nickname for this thing yet? We call it He-Man. He-Man? He-Man, yep. My wife has a pink machine. And hers has got pink crocodile seats in it. It's got like all this cool pink. It's all everything's custom on hers. And she named she named it Shira, uh, Princess of Power. And so when when I put the 40s on it, everybody's like, dude, if hers is Shira, your machine's got to be He-Man. So that, I guess that's that's how I got its name. It's He-Man.